and onward the show. First blow down the belly, second blow down the belly, being very careful at the bottom of the belly, she's got her other, and we don't want to damage that, otherwise she won't be able to feed the land next year. Clear off the top of the leg, round the crutch, that's just like all the girls, she likes to look tidy for those late season party. Well, she doesn't want to have to employ a sucker in her, does she? over the leg and up towards the backbone. Now when I'm shearing the sheep, you'll notice that she absolutely shines once the wool comes off. And the Gotland wool is wonderful because it reflects lots and lots of light. And that's one of the things that you would grade wool on if you were actually grading it. Now, Somebody didn't put enough money in the meter. So rather than charge it out and try and find another, we'll just carry on. Put the old blade shears. Some parts around the world, they still use these because they want extra wool left on the sheep. Now, this is something that those people that were here last year probably didn't see. Now, you notice that since I've started with the blades, everything has all just gone quiet. And it's almost like I am at one with the sheep. It's almost a zen experience. There we go, nice and steady, working our way around the sheep. Just like the machine, there's a certain pattern that we follow, but because I'm working with the blades, I don't have to be quite so rigid in my position. Nice and steady, working our way down there. Still getting that beautiful shine after I've shown the wheel off. There we go, working our way around there. Lay the sheet down now into the long blows, just like with the machine. Now working along the backbone of the sheet. And as we come to the backbone, we've got to be a little bit careful. Because the blades will cut pretty much anything that you feed into them. And you've got a lumpy bit just as you get to the backbone and the top of her shoulder. So you've just got to lift the shears and let that ride slightly up and over the top. Off with the cheek horn, round the side of the neck, down over the top of the bristle. Just like the machine shears, the pattern works in the blade shears for ease on the sheep and ease on the shearer. If you're doing a couple of hundred of these a day with the shears, you want to be doing them as easy as you can. Because otherwise, the numbers just wear you down. Working down the shoulder towards her armpit, that little bit off there, a little bit more under the armpit left to come off. There we go. That's nice and clean under there. Don't want to go on out looking like one of those continental birds, do we? Now, the Gotland is a sort of sheep that as you get to this point of shearing it, they quite often are less than cooperative without sitting there. And the first two I saw today were no different. This one's actually sitting a little bit better. Maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. There we go. The first blow down the leg, just taking that little bit of wool off the top of the leg. It's very, very narrow. 
and you get pretty close to the skin, so you only take just a little bit of wool off of there. Those away. 